what is the stupidest idea you've ever had? This might be mine. So before we get started, I suppose we've got to do some warnings. There might be blood. There might be swearing. <laughs> So, I had this idea. It seemed like a great idea a few weeks ago. When people talk about my felting up in the air in my hands being danger felting, I had this idea. How can I up this level to make it really dangerous? How about blindfolded felting? Didn't that sound like such a great idea? And I just recently on the channel got the community tab, which is a way where I can interact with you guys without having to make a video. And I asked on that tab what you would like to see me do for my next needle felting type crafty video. And yeah, Rosani, this one is entirely your fault. I gave you all the option and um, there, there were some wonderful options there. We could have, I've got a kit to make a needle felted monkey. So we could have reviewed that kit. We could have made pandas, raccoons, but no, Rosani, this is all on you, gal. She wanted me to do blindfolded needle felting. So what I'm going to do, I want to do this kind of in real time. So I'll explain my quick rules. I've got all my equipment set out and I'm going to do a sh miniature schnauzer head sculpture. Now, a little kind of cheat is I'm starting off with a ball because you don't want to see me creating a ball. I'm sure I can felt a ball. That's the least fiddly bit out of it. And the limitations I have is that camera there only has a runtime of 20 minutes. So once I finish this intro, I'm going to switch her off, let her cool down and then get started on this felting. <laughs> so we've got 20 minutes to create it, else my face will cut off. So I'm going to have face cam here. We've got looking down, looking down at my hands here and we'll be able to see us all and I'll keep it live in real time. So warning, there might be swearing, there might be dogs barking, who knows what. But let's give this a try. Wish me luck, people. <sighs> OK, 20 minutes from now. So I have my little blindfold, which I'm going to try and set up here. Oh, so nervous. Right. And this isn't quite as sheer, quite as see through as I'd wanted. So I've got a little bit of felt. Oh, this is a good look. Got a little bit of felt to pop over my eyes. I surprisingly don't have a blindfold laying around. So let's pop the felt over my eyes, cover with a blindfold. There we go, looking so great. So I have some little dogs here to show me where the bounds of my camera area is. Ah, okay. I found my ball. I found my stabby needle. That's a great start. And we're in frame, I believe. Now I've got to cover it with this. This is the grey, I think. Oh, this is so stupid an idea. So I'm going to try it. I want him to be grey. So taking the grey wool, stabbing it all around. It feels different. That's kind of good. It feels a little bit more silky than the regular white ball that I've made. So I might be able to tell. Oh, it's getting hot under here. Oh, I never even thought of it. <laughs> I'm pretending I'm looking at a camera. Oh, it's getting hot. I probably shouldn't have covered my entire face, just my eyes. Wouldn't that have been sensible? Anyway, so we're getting the ball covered-ish. I have no idea. Oh, this is, I can, I haven't stabbed myself yet. But this is so weird and bizarre. Oh, it's terrifying, actually. I I can't see what I'm doing. I think there's some gaps here, is there? I'm asking like you guys are going to be able to tell me. And I, um, see the temptation to keep looking down at your hands when all I can see is black. Oh, this is so difficult. That, whose idea was this? this? This was a really proper stupid idea. OK, so that's going to be that's this is so much harder than I I thought this was going to be like super easy. Right. That's nowhere near smooth. I can feel that. But I want to make his muzzle because we've only got 20 minutes <laughs> added stupid. So a little piece of the grey and I'm rolling it. That's probably not enough muzzle, is it? See, when you think you do most things by touch and then you try and do things by touch and you realise that you really, really don't do most things by touch. OK, so there we have a little a little tube for his little nose. Oh. 
right don't don't anybody ever do don't try and copy me don't ever do what i say what i suggest because clearly my ideas are stupid and i don't want to be responsible for anyone hurting themselves so there's disclaimer number two don't do what i'm doing but anyway hopefully that's getting a muzzle on his little face and i can't even i can't look at the clock to see how much time i've got left so this is needle felting blindfolded with a time limit trying to make a miniature schnauzer dog oh so much so much stupid here this is so not gonna work but i want to i don't just want to try and make something stupid i want to try and do a reasonable job if that's at all possible oh <laughs> guys what am i doing but it's it's interesting to see how much you do by feel and how much you do by actually looking at it and i can feel what i'm trying to do here my main concern is getting everything felted in time more than anything and also i have a little concern oh, fix the blindfold i have a little concern that i'm not in frame i set up little little blocks on on my table here that hopefully i won't go off the edge of where where i'm felting but so that i'll go out of frame see i don't even know if i'm putting sensible words together now i th there's an adrenaline rush going here this is so weird but anyway so there's there's this oh this is terribly felted but i i feel i don't want to just sit and keep on firming up the same bit because we're going to end up spending 20 minutes just making a ball with a tube sticking on it so oh i think i've got to make some ears is that still gray i don't know if that's gray i can't tell what that is i know this is the gray because it's a bigger chunk so i'll take off two bits do they feel about even they feel about even oh that's going to be too small but yeah i don't care right now this is the bit that's probably going to terrify people more than anything else. Am I actually managing between my fingers? But like I say, it's actually easier than you think to not stab yourself. Famous last words. I'm aware I'm probably going to really injure myself here. But I know where my fingers are in the world. If I was using a foam pad and stabbing down onto the foam pad, then I have a fear that I would really stab myself much worse see i told you the dogs would bark there's ben kicking off now i don't know i don't know what he's wanting but he's wanting my attention and usually in a video i would cut off things like that but he's outside in the hall and decided to have a wee woof anyway so i'm getting there with the ears i think they're sort of there this one's sort of taking on a triangular shape not sure though ah uh, oh and it's free well i suppose i'm i'm saying how i'm heating up in this blindfold well the thing is this isn't a blindfold it's supposed to keep me warm outside it's it's a head scarf bandana neck neck scarf what's the word for this someone in the comments down below what is this thing i'm wearing on my face but i thought because it had the pretty kind of skull look it might be a bit of fun to use a bit of bit of amusement a little face for you guys to look at uh but i hadn't estimated how much i was gonna heat up in this this is bonkers oh and i don't know if you can see when i breathe out it poofs out a bit and when i breathe in it's kind of sticking to my lips a little bit right that that's as far as we're going for that one ear where do, i had another piece of flat is that it is that somebody tell me is that the piece of flat? oh i this this might be gray this might be black this might be white i don't know now i i had it and i put it here and i thought i was doing sensible but oh boy and I'm really, I have no concept of how much time this is taking now. This is quite worrying because I'm sitting here thinking three minutes might have just passed or I might be just about finished the 20 minutes. So I don't know whether to spend more time on a bit or to keep going or... Oh, this is such a... Whose idea was this? Rosani, this, this is all entirely your fault. This is nothing to do with me. Oh boy. And... Oh, I oh, 
See, stabbed myself a little bit there. Starting to lose concentration a bit. It didn't hurt. I just poked a needle into my finger ever so slightly. I think my fingertips are probably like leather nowadays. Oh, I really... See, I would love to be able to do this and finish up with something that looks really pretty amazing. But I've got a feeling it's going to look like bad, bad taxi down me by the time I'm finished with it. Which is so frustrating because I thought I could really do this. I, in my head, I was like, yeah, I'll be able to do this by touch. I know how to make a schnauzer. Because a miniature schnauzer, I don't know if I've told you this story before, but a miniature schnauzer is the first thing I ever made. Well, the second thing. The first thing I made was a Ben, of course. But um, what got me into needle felting was a book, um, Fleece Dogs, I think it was called. And the cover of that book had a needle felted miniature schnauzer on it and I just fell in love and that was what I wanted to do. So I got the book and I ordered the supplies and like me I didn't read a whole lot of instructions. I read the first wee bit and then immediately I dived in and tried to make a Ben. And I was pretty happy with that. And then I thought, well, I had to make the miniature schnauzer. So I kind of followed what they were saying and made myself a miniature schnauzer. And it came out so cute. It was really... I'm not going to say easy, but it was fairly straightforward and that was totally fun fun to make. Right, where the, is this the head? Oh, that is so soft. That is terrible. Anyway, there's the head. There's the nose. So let's see if we can get ears on. Yeah, so after I made that miniature schnauzer, oh, this is fiddly. After I made that, I've made about five or six more in different times. You know, some some better than others. Um, each time, I, I think it's really cool to make what you made in the early days again so you can see how much better you've got, or in this case worse. But because I've made quite a lot of miniature schnauzers, I thought I would be able to... Where's the other ear? Is that the other ear? Yeah. I thought I would be able to make something like a miniature schnauzer relatively easily. Oh, what a fool I was. <laughs> Did you see me catch my thumb there? Again, not sore. It's just a little touch because I'm not stabbing massively. I'm not totally getting in there and being vicious with it. I'm just delicately, as as delicate as I can be with anything. I really feel I'm rambling because I, I, I know I'm not going to be able to cut out any of this. So if there's any kind of dead air... I just, I, I don't want that. So I'm trying to talk and I'm trying to felt all at the same time. Oh, this feels ridiculously fuzzy. I, right, I don't think I need any more grey. So, oh, what's that? That's part of the head. <laughs> but, okay. So there's something I haven't felted in that was getting in my way and I thought it was something laying on the table. Right. So the bit I am not looking forward to is trying to give these ears a bend actually easier than I thought to get a feel for every where everything should be. Again, possibly f the ears feel a bit close together. Possibly famous last words. It could well be that this looks nothing like I think it's looking like, but it feels like everything's in the right place. It just needs a good half an hour extra felting that I don't have the time to do, but I'm... Okay, I'm just going to go over everything one more time because I'm so not happy with how this feels and I know it's going to look a hundred times worse than it feels. And if we want to put the long hair onto the nose of the dog, then I'm going to have to firm this up quite a bit. But I, I hope it doesn't look too insane and in that the everything's a little evenish so it resembles a dog. Oh man, overheating again. <laughs> I thought the problem was going to be the camera overheating, but the problem might be the Pam overheating. Who'd have known that? Now, I'm kind of intrigued. I totally am saying to you guys not to try this at home because this is dangerous and stupid and blah, blah, blah. But if any of you are dangerous and stupid and try this at home, I would totally love to see your creations. And, oh, do you know, I still, I have a little fear because I can't look. Normally when I'm filming and I'll have a check to make sure, that, like every two minutes I'll check again to make sure the cameras are recording. Because sometimes I think I've pressed record and I haven't. So I'm terrified now that I've not got the cameras recording right. Let's fold this ear over. 
and if I just felt backwards and forwards it's not going to look as pretty it might not be in the direction it, it might just be terrible <laughs> it might just be terrible I want to do a good job where you can recognize this is the dog that it is right is that staying bent um yes okay ear two bend it over felt the line okay the bit i worried about the most is possibly working sometimes i find when i fold the ears of the dog over they sometimes pop up without me wanting them to all oh, right so the next thing i'm gonna have to do is find oh that feels really badly felted on really soft um, but the next thing I'm going to have to find where I put the black and attempt, don't felt the ears wrong, attempt to make some eyes. I'd thought about using the glass eyes, but I thought that would just take so much time trying to felt in the same place and then impossibly trying to put the shaft of the glass eye onto the space where I've made the little hole for it to go through and I thought that would just become impossible so I think I put the black somewhere oh I don't know where the black is. is that black no that's the white that's definitely white where's the black have I ditched the black already right okay this will be off camera but I ha I know I have a bag with black at the side I, I hear a crinkle now this might be black please tell me that's black I can't see what it is but I knew I had a bag with black to the side so that might that might be a pinch of black I've taken from the crinkly bag. I hope so. <sighs> right, so I rolled up two little pinches of a random colour. I'm going to keep them both in my hand so I don't lose them. <sighs> right, ears are there, nose is there, so I want an eye some oh this is so hard why did i do this this is so hard one eye there there's the other ear and one eye here maybe oh i thought this would be easier <laughs> oh no and the nose feels so super soft right and i can't there's the eye there's two eyes i can feel the difference that's good possibly good right let's get this nose firmed up oh i don't know how much time i've got left <laughs> someone tell me how much time i've got left like there's nobody here but i still want to ask so felt up this nose uh, it's so soft right i got to spend a bit of time felting this nose else nothing will hold together because all we have to do now Oh, I, I don't know. Is this bad taxidermy or does this look like a dog? I, I, I have a feeling it's not the second option. In fact, I don't know if it's even going to be good enough to be bad taxidermy, but let's just pretend. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Nose, eyes, ears. Right, I, I felt the white. There's the white. Now, I'm going to break off a strip, imagine it, it's probably slightly too long for the nose. Oh, I am so trained to look at this, but I can't. Okay, not cut finger. Yes, didn't cut finger. And I'm... Okay, the center point of this is somewhere about here. My dog is here, ears are there, so that would go on the nose about here-ish where's the needle there's the needle right oh this is where we can totally save the dog this is where it's going to be all perfect or terrible i'm betting on terrible right felt his little mustache in place please please where oh this is this is not good I wish I'd spent more time making this really firm because I don't even know if this is going to felt in and hold in place. Ah, oh boy. Right, 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 right. And I'm praying that I haven't run out of time on my cameras. Oh, I've run out of things to say as well because I'm so concentrating. I totally want this to work. I think the nose is far too big. But the white's on, 
or some of it's on or oh I don't know I'm not going to try and do the white glint in the eye of the nose but where did I put the black is it well we'll just fetch some more black right going to fetch some more black off to the side where I probably knock my camera down right this is probably possibly black and I want to make a little nose oh I think I just heard the camera go off. Right, I'm going to peek. Okay, I actually, I heard the camera go off. Oh, I'm dizzy. So I peeked down the blindfold and I reset the camera and I'm back blindfolded again. So we've got another 20 minutes. Yay. Um, and just, oh, I didn't look at anything else, but just the lights <laughs> from doing that quick peek. I now feel quite dizzy. Um, okay, let's try and stick a nose. Is it still there? Yep. Stick a nose on the nose of the dog. And this is good because I'm nearly finished. So it means I'll be able to do, I'll be able to do a look at, at the dog as well. I'm terrified it would have made. Right. Okay. So we've got that on. Um, I think I'll avoid doing his smile. so soft that's really annoying otherwise it it could have been good it could have been good this could have been, right eyebrows oh oh right okay there's the scissors there's some white all right sh thinking oh blindfold slipping and i need some air um do i want little pieces or big bigger pieces is that the white still that's still the white split it in half if I go for bigger eyebrows oh, missed even cutting if I go for bigger eyebrows then I might have a chance of feeling where I'm putting them and not stabbing myself this this is the tricky bit right ears which are all floppy and will need some help and eyes good I can feel the eyes so taking a pinch of ah that didn't feel good pinch of eyebrow fluff rolling it oh so hard right it's there and then with my needle this could be terrible okay that might have caught some we'll do a second pinch roll it feel where the eyeball is try and attempt to and there and oh so having to concentrate so hard here and i know it's probably not working okay third pinch i think three pinches is good so in front of my thumb above the eyeball possibly potentially felt it in place okay okay feeling really not confident at all all right okay second eye i don't know if this will be easier or harder right there's the second is that the second eye Where, there's the second eyeball i think is that it that's the second eyeball that's not where i thought it would be at all okay so above the second eyeball pinch of fleece and felting 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 Okay, 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 we're so nearly done. Oh, I can't believe it. I want to see this so badly because I think badly will be the operative term here. Right, there's the eye, there's the pinch, there's the stabbing. Am I getting any of this? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, last pinch and then we're just gonna... We're ne we're practically done and who knows what abomination i've just created <sighs> oh. okay right so that may or may not be the eyebrows in place the ears have unbent i knew they would do that so we'll just fix off the ears a little bit right 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 it has a mustache it has eyebrows <sighs> Now, just for funsies, I'm going to try the thumbnail first of all. So let's, that might be in frame for the camera. Pretending, 
fell, 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 look, ha! I got my mouth open screaming, making a YouTube face. Anyway, so, oh, so nervous. Is this a dog? Is this an abomination? Let's find out. Oh, so bright. Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> He's got pink eyes. <laughs> Put him. He's got pink eyes. A black ear and a grey ear. <laughs> but he has eyebrows. <laughs> he has eyebrows and he actually is. That is kind I don't believe it, but that is sort of the shape that I thought he was. <laughs> he does the nose. The nose is black. I got a black nose. So I used the black for one ear and the grey for another ear. Um, his, his beard kind of... Actually... <laughs> do you know, from a distance, that kind of looks like a needle felted dog. I don't believe I did this. Right. And, close up, no blood on the fingers. Okay, guys, I think that'll more than do for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy I did that. Let's pray to the gods of internet that the cameras actually recorded all of that. Yeah, see you next time. <laughs>